Hi, how to print various pages from any PDF. So for example, I've got a PDF here. I want to print page one, three, two, four, and then two, four again afterwards. And I want to do this across many PDF files. So to do this, what you need to do is to drag and drop the file into a list, the number of times you want to print pages. So that's going to be page one, three, two, four, two, four in this case. You can have any setup you want. So as you can see, this PDF's got 36 pages, but I only want page one from this one. So if you go on to set internal PDF printed options, I can just print page one to one. And then next one, I can print page three to three. And next one, I'm going to print page two. And then next one, I'm going to print page four, two again, and then I'm going to do four. But it can be any pages you want. So if I go across here now, you can actually see the setup. So I've got internal printing or page one, three, two, four, two, four. So if I just click print now, it'll print it like that as individual prints. You can see here the status of where it's printing. Open the printer. Sort by submitted. So it's printed 132424 as I wanted on that file. But obviously that's quite difficult to set up. So I need to set that up for any PDF in a folder. So I've got a folder here, say a couple of PDFs I want to apply this to. Now I can do this with a feature called replication. So basically I need to highlight all the files. So I can click on top one and shift key and then click on the bottom one to do this. And I want to go to action menu, set file for replication. Click yes. In here now I can select my folder here on my other files. So go on PDF. Okay. I'm going to select this folder here. I'm going to clear the template. You can see I've got a couple of files in here, which is applied all these settings to. So I've got page one, three, two, four, two, four. And then on this file, I've got one, three, two, four, two, four. So when I click print, you can see it's printing those pages only for that print file. So that's how you do it across many files. Now, when you actually set it up, if you go back to the settings, when you highlight, you go onto action menu, set file for replication, but yes, in here, you can actually save the settings. You can use that setting in the direction monitor if you want to as well. And you can also save in add-ons, go to batch file, save as, you can save the list out to a file so that you can load it back up later. So if you want to do some more printing later on some other files or on another day, and you don't have to go through all the setup again. You can just save this, for example, to a list. And then in future, you just click on add-ons, batch file, load. And you can load that list up and that's all your add-on parameters set there. So then you go through the replication setup as before and apply it to your PDFs. And that's it. Give it a try.